Yes, I want to greet you all in the name of Jesus. And I know my wife has given you all a greeting already, but it's my turn. Um, I remember many years ago when I came to St. Croix, I think it was 1997. And um, when I came to St. Croix first, and I've been having a relationship with St. Croix ever since. And um, even to this point. But one of the things I want to encourage you as a church is not forget your identity. Not forget um, what make you St. Croix Christian Church. Um, and I just want to just give you um, just, just a couple pointers. And, and just to give you a reminder. Because, you know, when we forget our identity, we can forget our goal or where we want to head. And so I want to just encourage you. Because um, being there, I think I served at YWAM about three years in St. Croix. And while I was there, I, I went to St. Croix. I was a part of St. Croix Christian Church. But the first thing... Um, I want to ask that you not forget, don't forget your identity, who you are at St. Croix Christian Church. And under that identity comes a fellowship. Um, St. Croix Christian Church is marked by fellowship. And I think everyone sitting there can, or, or watching this or listening can identify that the fellowship in St. Croix Christian Church is, is unusual. That is part of the identity of who we are as St. Croix Christian Church. And the other one is the study of the Word of God. Um, that's, what, that's, a, that's one of the things that I really love about St. Croix Christian. It's the love that the other saints, they have for the, for the study of the Word, to get to know the Word more, to get to know the author of the Word more. And uh, the other one is prayer. Um, St. Croix Christian Church, we have so many members who really love praying. That's why we have that even that prayer group set up, that soon as someone needs a prayer, we can just get it off and get it out there right away. And um, and after prayer come missions. Yes, it's a small body, but um, Saint Croix Christian, you are doing an amazing job for many years. And and serving missions and sending out missionaries is is one of your identity. You know, as I think about it, um, Saint Croix Christian Church has been supporting me since I was in Saint Croix. And as I think about it, you know, being in Thailand. Um, going down up and down the Caribbean, down to South America, even over to Vietnam, to and now in the Philippines. Uh, you know, the opportunities I have had to share the gospel to many, many people and and many to see many people respond to the gospel. Some of them, many of them today still serving the Lord. It's all because of St. Croix Christian Church. And so please don't ever forget your identity in the way we fellowship. You study the word, prayer, and missions. And finally, I want to give you this last encouragement from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You know, it says, Be strong in the Lord. You know, things are going to happen. And and people go, people come, um, things change. Even today with the coronavirus, and and you know, I mean, actually, I've been having a problem getting home right now. <laughs> I have my flight canceled. I get another one, so I'm hoping I can get on the other one um, two days from now to get back to Manila. When I get to Manila, I'll be in Manila until April 15. There is no flight going out of Manila because Manila is on lockdown. So hopefully we'll get home sometime in April. Um, but it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. You know, I remember when I was little, um, some of the guys from our village, I grew up in Montserrat. Some of the guys from our village, we used to go down to the river. And there used to be um, pools down that we can swim in. And I remember having my uncle... Um, He's, he's one of my, my youngest uncles, but he was very muscular. He was big. He was tall. And, you know, I, I had a confidence. When we go swimming, I couldn't swim. But I had a confidence that if anything happened, he will save me. And, and, and I saw them swimming, and I jumped into the water. And next thing you know, I started going under. And you know what happened next? My uncle reached down and picked me up. 
And that even solidified the confidence I had in him that he would take care of me. And I think that is what God is asking of all of us. Even in this time, would you, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, have confidence in him, un unshakable, unmovable confidence. Lord, we don't know how you're going to do it, but Lord, I trust you. And in the power of his might, and sometimes we forget how big and strong our God is. He can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or ever think or can conceive with our minds. So, my brethren, St. Croix Christian Church, keep the faith and keep the identity that you have. In Jesus' name, until we meet again, God bless you all.